KSR Live. On News Talk 1240 WSFC, live from Ashley Furniture Home Store. Going to be broadcasting from 10 until noon. Still some parking left. You want to see the show? Come on out. Ashley Furniture Home Store, KSR Live. On News Talk 1240 AM WSFC. So that you do have to factor that in. They, right. did, they didn't miss an NCAA tournament. But I would still consider that, considering the fact. Like it's very important to remember, and I'm sorry to folks at Ashley Furniture, but we got to talk some details here. Considering the fact that they pay prostitutes for players and recruits, I would consider that a smack on the wrist, right? It, it is. Just I'm going on the history of the NCAA, the way they've handled situations. That's, that's what I think is going on. Because, like, their big thing was the lack of head coaching control. You know, a level one violation against Patino. That's what I think what's coming today. Which is also weird to me, because while Patino should certainly be, it, it, isn't it more about the program than just Patino? It is. And it, it is to me. And I think none of the findings really said that he knew or anything, so it's just so that and lack of head coach and control. Even I believe that it's hard for me to believe he knew. Because I don't think A, he would have been that stupid, or B, he would have picked those women. And you Welcome to the second hour of Kentucky Sports Radio on Talk Radio 1080. Now, here's Matt Jones. Welcome back, Kentucky Sports Radio, here live. All right, so this, we'll just get right to it. This came out, I'm going to read you directly what the NCAA says here are the punishments according to the NCAA for Louisville. Penalties prescribed by the panel, panel include four years of probation for the university, but that doesn't mean postseason, folks. That's just probation. A suspension from the first five ACC games of the season for the head coach. A 10-year show cause for former operations director. And this is the key one. A vacation, a vacation of basketball records in which student athletes competed while ineligible from December 2010 and July 2014 men's basketball scholarship restrictions. So from December 2010 and July 14, is it 2 2014 or and? That's true. Well, I know from December 2010. If it's and. 2010 to 2014, then they lose the band. But it says and. And there are no games in July 2014. Let me see. So I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, Patino? Vacating wins from 2010 to 2014. They won the 23-2013 national title. I think that means it's gone. Yeah. Records. I mean, I think that means it's gone, right? Because if it's 2010 to 2014, and it, they, they can't, it has to be 2010 to 2014. It can't be 2010 July 2010 and, you know what I mean? Like nothing happened in July 2014. December. 